Grain markets were higher in the early morning trade, but today's monthly WASDE report seemed to have taken some wind out of the sales for the grain markets through the afternoon. At the close, March corn futures were two and a half cents lower to settle at 4.85 and a half for the week. That was still three quarters of a cent higher in the third straight Friday of minimal price changes for the week. January soybean futures were higher in the early morning trade, but retreated following the report, settling the day seven and three quarter cents lower to 13.04 for the week. That was 21 cents lower. Lastly, March Chicago wheat futures, they were down 10 and a half cents today, settling at 631 and three quarters. Despite today's weakness, that was still 29 cents higher for the week. Now, some of that early morning strength may have been on the back of three separate flash sales this morning, one for corn, soybeans, and wheat. This morning's WASDE report uh, really didn't have a whole lot of surprises for U.S. ending stocks in corn, soybeans, or wheat. However, world ending stocks for corn and soybeans were above the average analyst estimate. What may have caught some analysts off sides was South American production estimates, where we saw corn and soybean production in uh, Argentina and Brazil come in above the average analyst estimate. South American crop development, that will continue to be a key focus for analysts as we head into the end of the year.